The atomic theory also describes physical processes. For example, let's look at the surface of water with air above that contains water vapor, oxygen, and nitrogen molecules. The molecules in the liquid water are moving around. Once in a while, a molecule at the surface gets hit from another molecule causing it to break away. This is evaporation. However, let's put a lid on the container. This will result in evaporated water molecules staying contained in the air above. Now, more water molecules from the air will collide back to the surface of the water and stay there. The human eye will not see these processes happening within a closed container of water, but the evaporation and rejoining of water vapor is continuously occurring in a highly dynamic atomic process. The rate of evaporation and the rate of rejoining is about the same, so the water level doesn't change with time. If you remove the lid again and blow away the moist air above the water surface, then more evaporation will take place, with fewer water molecules in the air above available to rejoin the surface. The water starts slowly evaporating away. When a water molecule gets knocked out of the liquid, it receives a bit more energy than average in the hit, taking that energy away with it as it leaves. That means the remaining water molecules have a little less energy overall. Thus, the liquid cools as it evaporates. When water molecules in the air collide back with the water surface, there's an attraction to the surface as it returns that introduces a little bit more heat to the liquid. Note, that the oxygen and nitrogen molecules in the air can also enter the liquid and get mixed into the liquid water. Air is able to dissolve in water.